Hello everyone, welcome back, hope you're doing absolutely fantastic and today we're back with another Microsoft Flight Simulator video and today we're going to be taking a look at the Flugzeug Ball DG808 this gorgeous glider right here this is a really good looking glider and we are also going to be taking a brief look at the Kinetic Assistant and this tool right here it basically gives you all of these winch, tow Ghost Replay, Catapult, Arrestor, Thermals, we're going to be using the Thermals. If you enable the API, it's basically going to place uh, the Thermals for you. You don't have to do anything, they work. You have Static, Leaning, Drifting, and that Enable Thermals. And you can actually see right here you have like a map, it shows you where the Thermals are, how strong they are. You can zoom out, but yeah, we do have a thermal right in front of us. We also have a tow, that's an option. You're going to select recorded flight track, and then you select a plane. You do have some options, and then insert tow plane. Very straightforward. Now the plane itself, the model does look good. It's a really, really good looking model. The flight model is pretty good as well, which I will be showing. Uh, the real aircraft, uh, it should have like an engine somewhere around here. So you can launch yourself. Uh, this model, as you can see, it doesn't really include the actual engine. Like you cannot see it, but it's invisible. So you can launch yourself, you can use the engine. You're just not going to see it. but that's really not an issue. When we take off, we are not really looking right straight at the back of our heads. So it doesn't bother me too much. The rest of the, the model is gorgeous. I am extremely happy with this. I was flying this earlier. Uh, I was actually flying this earlier for quite a bit. Around this area, the, the area I'm recording in. And uh, I'm very, very happy with this glider. But, let's take a look at the cockpit. It's very, very well done. And this is what I mean. You are flying like, like so. You're not really going to notice the lack of engine there. But, you do have an engine. You have your start, stop here. And, if you want to launch yourself with a tow plane, you can basically zero your fuel. You can always do that. Let's go back to 50. Here you have your modes for your variometer. You have your airspeed, optimeter, your compass. This is the brightness for the cockpit. So if you're flying during the night, you can basically see what you're doing. This is the landing light. Here is basically the, the units you're going to be using. As you can see, meters, feet, off. Okay, let's go slow. This way we have the arrow pointing towards. Uh, smoke, we do have smoke. We do have smoke. And you can use this mid-flight. We have the park and brake right here, so let's do park and brake. We do have a park and brake, that's, that's really nice. The canopy works, and I cannot stress this enough, I really, really like when I can open the canopy. This is the water ballast, so you can release the water, and there is a water effect when you drop in the water. I will show this when we are actually flying. Uh, yeah, I, I think we can actually take off. I will have a link for both the glider and the kinetic assistant on my description down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, it helps me out a lot. And it also lets me know you guys are enjoying the content. And I did forget to show the speed brakes. You do have speed brakes and they are modeled in, as you can see. Coming up, coming down. And now we can actually take off. So let's release the parking brake. And let's give it some throttle. We do have an engine. There we go. We just want to keep this straight. 
try and keep it straight with the runway. There we go. We do have a landing gear, so let's go landing gear up. And as you can see, we do have a landing gear, so let's go flaps up now. Just, just smoothly. There we go. There we go. So we are landing gear up, flaps up. To be fair, as soon as we reach 3500, I'm gonna cut the fuel down all the way down. This way you know I have no engine. This light should basically go dark. There we go. We have no fuel, absolutely no fuel. And if you check the kinetic assistant there's like a map and you can actually see the thermals. We should have one straight ahead. You don't really have to use this. Uh, thermals happen often enough that you can just fly around and you're gonna find a thermal somewhere. I'm gonna go over some of the features of the glider. I'm just gonna trim this first. You do wanna trim it properly. I'm going to increase the, the sound a little bit, so you can hear it loud and clear. There we go. It does look good on the sound meter, so... Yeah, we should be on the thermal, as you can see. So right here you have your trail. This is the, the takeoff, it doesn't really count. We have another aircraft right there. So yeah, you do have a trail and when you go through uh, thermals, you have this. It basically shows you that you are, you're you gaining altitude. You have your attitude, which is basically the artificial horizon. You do have a status as well. Pito Ison, battery, imperial. Just click again and you're gonna get rid of it. Zoom up and down. Here you have home, which is basically, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's the airport you took off from, if I'm not mistaken. I might be. I might be. So yeah, let's try and keep inside the thermal. It does look like we are losing the thermal a little bit. And we do not want to lose the term we yet. I do find the, the trail in the map is really, really useful. And a really nice touch. Um, I was flying earlier. Just using this. I was not looking at the kinetic assistant map and if you fly near a thermal and just your wing if just one wing touches the thermal uh, your plane kinda does this like because the thermal lifts a single wing and that's like such a nice touch So it looks like we're getting to the end of this, so let's turn around again. We do have better uh, thermals, they do happen. And I did lose quite a bit of altitude, but I was trying to gain some speed. So it's good, it's all good.
There we go. We are in the thermal again. Ooh, that was a nice touch. There we go. And as you can see right here, we are gaining a decent amount of altitude. We do have a very uh, dense green, which basically signifies we are getting quite a bit of altitude. And then as it fades down, it's because we're not getting as much altitude. So yeah, it does seem like this is the area where the thermo is the, the strongest. Yeah, it really, really wants to bring the nose all the way up. So I'm gonna let go of the... Joystick. Uh, it drops our speed quite a bit. It's lifting our nose all the way up. So yeah. You can also turn off the trail. Makes it a little bit easier to see where you're actually at if you're inside the the green. Just in case you're wondering this is where we took off from, it should be a mod. I will have a link for the airport in my description down below as well. You have quite a few options if you want to fly around this area. You can even try and go to the Alps. It's gonna be a longer flight, but you can definitely do that. Uh, let's see if we can find... There should be an airport around this area. Uh, can we see airports from this height? Yes, we can. So, Where was it? Oh, there it is. I did, I did remember there, there was an airport there. <laughs> There's another one there, yeah. So it's always an option. If you go south, you're gonna reach the Alps, or you can just fly around the area. So let's bring back, uh, where are we at? Okay, so this is where we took off from. We can just fly southwest-ish. Power is this. That is always an option. Or we can just glide around and then move back to Buttville. The weather, I am not using live weather. I am using the weather preset pro i believe uh real life weather uh, it's not looking too good right now <laughs> and since we're gliding i kind of figured let's get some clouds you know a little bit of wind uh so it's fitting with the thermals we have visibility on the real life live weather is very very bad Southeast-ish should be the airport, if I believe. Yes, southeast-ish. I'm gonna have a hard time finding it by myself, to be honest. Okay, so if we go straight, we should come upon the airport again. Now we can actually take a look at what the smoke looks like. So you do need fuel for the smoke, so just add a little bit of fuel 
if the smoke's not working for you and we have smoke we actually have smoke we don't really have speed to do this <laughs> but yeah we have smoke we're stalling ah uh, it's good we are in a glider we have enough we have enough room to basically do something Are we inside a thermal, actually? Dude, we are inside a thermal. It's really, really trying to lift the, the nose all the way up. Okay. Can I get some speed back, though? Can I release the joystick? Yeah, it's gonna force us to keep going up. Nice. Uh, is it the same terminal? I believe it's the same terminal we were at. <laughs> Funny. Uh, let's spot the speed brakes there. No more smoke. Uh, we're gonna be coming in for a landing, so... Water. Let's drop all the water. Yeah. I did mention dropping the water had special effects. That's it. And back there, you can actually see the smoke itself. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I kind of thought I was stalling for a bit. <laughs> that would have been bad. So, yeah. This is the airport. And this is such a good, gl such a good glider. Okay, so I have been circling for a bit, and I do believe we are getting close to a decent altitude to basically start the landing. Uh, I have dropped the landing gear just so I can show what it looks like. Landing gear up, landing gear down. We do have wing flex, which is very nice. But yeah, uh, speed brakes. We do have to lose a little bit of altitude, but I feel like pointing the nose down is a little bit better than circling and circling. <laughs> I guess I'm kind of glad I don't really have any passengers right now. They would probably not enjoy this. Probably. There we go. Try to control the airspeed, the descent. It is a pretty aggressive angle though, so I'm not gonna blame you if you think my gliding skills are a little bit lacking, but yeah. There we go. Start breaking. We do have a nice amount of grass to stop us right here. And really, this was fun. This was, this was actually fun. Um, the landing was a little bit rushed. But the idea was showing the glider. So let me know what you guys think on the DG808. Uh, I'm very happy with this actually. I've been flying this earlier today. I did a very nice uh, gliding flight in this area. And I was heading towards uh, the Alps and then I ha had it back. I didn't really fly over the Alps. I ended up moving back because this is a little bit um, slow and I kind of figured if I decide to glide all the way to one of the airports in the Alps it's gonna take a while so I just had it back but I will have a link in my description down below for the glider the kinetic assistant and the airport if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe it helps me out a lot and it also lets me know you guys are enjoying the content and wherever you are I hope you stay safe fly safe Bye-bye.